Hello there, this is Eli G. Brown slash Sonic Jr. and Sierra here with a build and review of Core Hunter. This is one of the villains from the Breakout series. He appears in Wave 2 of the Breakout series, and he's also said to appear in uh, a little small Hero Factory special known as the Doom Box. Here's the front of the bag, the back of the bag, but I really don't care about a bag. Let's open it. And as I've done since since, uh, since a while, uh, I open the bag from the bottom rather than the top, so I don't have to worry about cutting off the top because I like the top. Okay. Open up all these individual parts. These are quite you a lot of new parts and new colors. And new molds and well, reused parts, particularly along with some in some parts that we've had before, but in new colors. Now here is a body piece we've seen before. Black feet we've seen before. The black phantom chest armor, seen that before. One of these, two of these, uh, four long size armor pieces uh, in black. Two red ones in the size five. And a few other armor pieces here. I'm not gonna go through as to which pieces they are. Here are a couple in red. I'm not sure if we've had them in this exact color before. Uh, we have a black uh, eye shield. As I've said in my review of Bulk, we haven't had this shield in any other color than red and orange and yellow and white, which was for the 2.0 series. But now we have one in black. So that will be useful for mock making. I'm sure I'll get a couple of these off of Bricklink. Got a hero chest armor in black. That's very good if you maybe want to try to upgrade your stringer if you don't like how the official version came out. Got a couple of these Captain America armor pieces in black. Oh, these weapons, we've seen those already, if you know what they are. Well, that's good for you. One of these bendelier weapons that we've had in Raka and also Iron Man. These pieces here, we've seen them. Three of these black Savage Planet series paw pieces in black. Uh, those will be useful for mock making. I might get some of those off Bricklink. Another one of these uh, interesting pieces here. Xamorosphere. Some new uh, Savage Planet claw pieces in red. Two of these spikes in red. Not sure if we're gonna use them both. And the Hero Core. It, even though it's a villain, it still includes the code. Uh, this will be useful for mock making. The Red Glutorian Head, and Core Hunter's Mask. It's a new mask. Very interesting. Turned out a lot smaller than I expected. I mean, even after watching Taku 11 ons video about uh, Core Hunter's Mask being so small, I didn't think he meant it this small. Well, now I'm gonna go and build. And again, Lego is too lazy to give this character a, an actual hand for this. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use a black, get a black hand off of Bricklink or from one of the other upcoming Hero Factory hero sets that I will review in the future once I get those. <laughs> yeah, they really need... <laughs> I wonder why they do it for some sets and not for others. Oh well.
Mm, never mind. And there you have it. That's Core Hunter. Of course, now, this character is pretty interesting. I like how they gave him six eyes. Well, they didn't give him six eyes. He still has just two eyes. His Glitorian head, but his mask is six. Although, if you look at the mask, it, it you can't you don't have to just use this for a villain. You could use it for a hero too. Um, not sure if I will use this uh, for mock making myself, but if you want to, go ahead. It's free country. Um, he kind of got some stubby arms like that, but that doesn't bug me as much as what they did with Bolt here, giving him a very stubby arm. And, and having the villain and the hero be the same height Kind of... I guess it's okay, but... Um, it's actually gonna be kind of hard to cuff uh, Core Hunter because he has very short, short wrists. Kind of gonna be impossible to... Uh, uh, come on, get off. I'm trying to get Bulk's hero cuffs to come off, uh, off screen. And you see, it's quite hard to do it. I mean, it is possible. Drawblade has the same issue, but I was successful in doing that. Maybe you could just take them off first, or maybe just replace the stubby hands with, uh, with the lower arms, uh, from the 2.0 series, the ones that Surge and Evo and Stormer had. So, that is Core Hunter, according to the Hero Factory, well, not Hero Factory website, according to, uh, the biography book that I got, uh, Core Hunter is said to be attacking somewhere in Maku Hero City, and that is going to be up to Bulk. This is Bulk 3.0 with the Series 1 head, which I actually like better than the new version of Bulk. And, uh, I didn't say this in the review I did on Bulk, but... Lego was too lazy to give Bulk an actual hand. I was originally planning on giving Horror Hunter an actual hand after they were too lazy to do it, but then I saw a reason why they didn't use the an actual hand here, because you need this to connect to there. Or you could maybe have it connect to the bottom or something. Uh, so anyway, that is Core Hunter, uh, the first villain of the second wave of Breakout uh, for 2012. I'll be getting more heroes and villains to review, and look out for some new mocks. That should be coming your way pretty soon. Next time.